I want to take this opportunity to say Happy Mother's Day to yes, all the mothers that's here. We're glad that you are here. We're glad that you have chosen to come and be with us for a little while. Moreover than that, the Lord is pleased with all of us gathering here. And he said, how do you know? I feel him down in my soul. I feel him down in my soul. Brother BJ is really sick tonight. And he's got a blood clot in his lung. And that's why they're not here. And he's asked the church to pray. Sister Etta May's daughter has asked for prayer. Sister Lietta, she is sick. Yeah, she can't get her head to hurt. She's just down dead. She passed out yesterday. She's really bad. I never will forget when she joined here. Just me and Brother Jerry was left standing here, Brother James, and she, everybody had went out. She went to the door, and she turned around and started crying and said, I can't leave. I can't leave. i got to tell you, the Lord has saved my soul. No greater words for, for a church group of Christians to hear than to someone say, the Lord has saved my soul. There's, and you know what? The, the, the Bible says there's more rejoicing in heaven than one sinner repenting than 99 just. He no repentance. So that tells me tonight that heaven, Brother Glenn, knows all about us. Amen. They know why we're here. They know our heart. Brother Amen. They know all about us. And I'm glad of that. I'm glad of that. I thought about Sister Juanita coming in and uh, messaging me and saying, are they having church? And some wanted to come and be with her. And you know, I thought about what a man told me one time. He said, he said, I felt so ashamed. He said, I never went to church. He said, every Sunday morning, my dad was old, mom had died. He said, every Sunday morning, I'd go and get him ready, take him to church and drop him off. I'd go home to my wife, and about 12, I'd come and get him. He said, my wife was wanting to do something one Sunday, and he said, I he said, I was in a hurry trying to help Dad, and he said, I was putting his socks on him, Valerie, and he said, Dad, I don't even know. He said, I was my wife and I was kind of quarreling. He said, Dad, I don't even know why you want to go to church. You can't hear, you can't see. I don't even know why you want to go anymore. He said his dad never said anything, but he said he put it for a few minutes, and he said he got his socks on him, he said he laid his hand on him, and he said, son, I know I can't see good, I know I can't even hear good. He said, but I want the world to know whose side I'm on. He said, that's why I sit where I sit. And that's what I say to men and women today, that we need to, we need to show our children, and we need to show our neighbors whose side we're on. It's important for us to go out to the house of the Lord. Here's some letters. You hear me say it often. God left us. Our Father left us some letters. And it tells us to neglect not to assemble ourselves in heavenly places. Surely this is a heavenly place. Surely this is the house of the Lord. Sister friend wants us to lay hands on her and if it's all right for the church, we want maybe Brother Will would come and introduce, and maybe Brother, Brother James is all right for the jury to lead us in prayer and lay hands on her. Yes. Then uh, she had some people going to pray. Um, my daddy's not doing no good. He wants her to bring him Is there anyone else that needs prayer, wants prayer? I know we all need prayer. Is there anyone else requesting <laughs> prayer? Have you got anything? She just lost her mother. And she's real bad right now. She's had taken care of her mother. But she has clogs in her lungs and her legs. Remember, remember. Thank you, God. 
guy named Herman Wall. He's in the hot water here. And I think they call the family in that he don't plead, don't plead with God. I thought he got the prayer training, but he, uh, he had a record of the boy face. Pray to my wife and my kids. My sister, Chris, who called Bob and said, Me and her and her family. Prayer. Is what changes things. Prayer. The prayer of the righteous. That's the key that unlocks heaven's doors. The windows of heaven is prayer. Any other words? Prayer. Y'all lay hands on me here at one night. I ain't had no problems in my back. Y'all lay hands on me last Sunday and Batuji man was folded up. That's the power of the Lord. That's just another witness telling me so that everybody needs the Lord in their life, but they don't have him. Man, one of the greatest friends I ever found in life was Jesus Christ. When I laid my hand in his hand, what a change. What a wonderful change. I'll say this. I said this today when I when I when I got up. It, it was on my mind again, then Brother Will come. I was asked to come to a church today, and I'd never been there before, but I was asked one time over the phone. A man was talking to me, and, and he thought, and I could tell he was a black man, and he thought I was black. Okay, he did. He thought I was a, and, and he said, I want you to come to North Carolina to a church. And I went down there, and there was probably about 150 people there, man. All of them black, the two of us. The two white people. When, and the Lord really blessed that day. And I never will forget that old man got up. He said, when he got done, he said, man, man, man. He said, I didn't think I'd ever hear a sound like that come out of a white man. You see, that's the way the Lord is, though. The Spirit of the Lord is different. The Jacob man is different. God is love. I hope, you, I hope he feeds us tonight. I'd love to feel him with you, Sister Juanita. I already do feel him down in my soul. Come on, brother.